Here's another important video from the Personal Defense Network. What we want to do is understand that consistency, once again, is the most important thing. Consistency in our grip, consistency in our presentation. So what we want to do is establish that as much as we can of that good grip in the holster before the gun even comes out. So we don't want to have our fingers open. We certainly don't want to have our thumb over here or our trigger finger somewhere other than just like this. Fingers wrapped around the gun, thumb on the other side of the gun with our trigger finger up against the holster so that when we come out, it's perfectly indexed on the frame. We then, once we come up high out of the holster and we're clear, want to orient the muzzle towards the threat as soon as we can. Notice that this puts us right in line with that high compressed ready. Again, consistency. We come through that high compressed ready, get our two-handed grip, extend, touch, press. And we're going to come back in, assess, see what else there is we may need to do or worry about. And if there's nothing, we're going to go back through exactly the same positions to reholster positively, and then we're going to relax. You know, all too often on a range, we see people come up out of the holster very diligently, extend, press, and then once the shooting drill is done, they kind of relax. They stand their posture up, the gun arm bends, the gun comes down to here, and we see all kinds of crazy things when the gun goes back to the holster very casually. Well, that's very dangerous. We want to make sure that we're locked in and focused on what we're doing all the time when the gun's out. Also, we want to condition ourselves so that when we get that grip, come up, extend, touch, press, we come back and assess the environment that we remember that we're still in a critical incident. We just fired a gun, and we need to be very aware of what's going on and very locked into what we might need to do next. We don't want to just automatically go into a relaxed posture. Get the gun back to the holster, and then we relax. Check out more videos just like this one at the Personal Defense Network.